You probably never thought you'd see a premium noise canceling headphone from Microsoft, but here it is, the Microsoft Surface Headphone. It's hitting stores this holiday season for $350 and will be available in just the color you see here. Microsoft spent three years designing this headphone and I found it very comfortable to wear. The ear pads are plush and the headband is nicely tapered to your head. One of the headphone's key features is an integrated dial in each ear cup. You turn the ring on the right ear cup to adjust volume and the one on the left to adjust the amount of noise cancelling you want. The dial turns really smoothly and there are technically 13 levels of noise cancelling. Additionally, the headphone has touch controls for pausing and playing your music and skipping tracks forward and back. You can max out the noise cancelling to muffle the outside world or dial it back to the point of letting sound around you into the headphones, allowing you, say, to talk to a flight attendant on a plane without taking off your headphones. I thought the noise cancelling was quite effective. Microsoft says the headphone is equipped with eight microphones, including four beamforming mics that not only help with making your voice sound clear on calls, but issuing voice commands using Microsoft's Cortana Digital Voice Assistant. Cortana is always on, so all you have to do is say, hey Cortana, to issue a voice command. There's no button press necessary, which is cool. As you'd expect, the Microsoft Surface headphone is designed to work with Microsoft Surface notebooks, but it also works just fine with other mobile Bluetooth devices, including iOS and Android devices. The headphone is equipped with Bluetooth 4.2, not the latest Bluetooth 5.0, but you can connect multiple devices to it and swap between them easily. It also charges via USB-C, which is nice, and has a quick charge feature. I thought the headphone sounded quite good in my limited time with it. According to Microsoft, it's got 40 millimeter low distortion free edge drivers. You'll be able to tweak the sound via a companion app, but the default sound signature has a little bit of a presence boost in the treble along with a little bit of a bass boost to create that punchy, exciting sound that's typical of a lot of today's headphones. I thought the mid-range sounded clear and natural. Battery life is rated at 15 hours, which isn't nearly as impressive as what you get with competing models. However, the always-on Cortana feature does eat into battery life, and Microsoft may come up with a way to eke out more battery life with future software upgrades. Ultimately, it'd be better if this headphone costs a little less than competing models from Bose and Sony to make it a better value, but Microsoft has created a compelling premium noise canceling headphone that has a couple of distinguishing features that make it a contender in this space. I'm David Carney for CNET.com. Thanks for watching.